All right, gentlemen, our bladesmiths have turned in their work. Let's take a closer look at the details. We're gonna start with Alf's blade. What do you say, Jay? Yeah, Alf had a problem with things falling out of his can. We were starting to wonder if he was just squeezing the cans together and not having anything in the core. The blade itself, it's got a few issues. You know, there's some creases and seams here. I'm hoping the actual integrity of the steel is still in good shape. All right, what do we think of Jason's work, Dave? All right, first off, Jason, on the surface, has a lot of delamination. And again, until he grinds us deeper, I don't know how deep those go. Let's move on to our next bladesmith, Francesco. Yeah, as soon as Francesco went and kind of added this tip, he should have gone right in the forge and right into the oil. He had the time. He had about 10 minutes, maybe a little over 10 minutes. It would have been enough time to get this blade hardened up. And that would have made a huge difference. Uh, it, it definitely would have put these two in a much closer contention. Yeah, I don't, I don't understand the late quenching. You can quench a blade and still work on it. Uh, and by quenching earlier, you have the opportunity to fix any problems that come up in that quench. Doug, why don't you go ahead and start with Don's blade? A solid piece, looks like a dagger. It's got the hidden tang we asked for. I don't see a lot of delaminations compared or forge scales compared to the others, except on the tang right here. Don's is definitely the cleanest of all of them, and it's quenched. Mm -hmm. It's an important thing. He's got a lot of material. I mean, this is super thick all the way down, but I'm cool with that. We say it all the time, forge thick, grind thin, especially if it's something that they're sketchy on or something like that. So he's got a lot to work with. All right, judges, I think the choice is obvious here, but have you made your final decision, Doug? Yes, I have. Dave? Yeah. Jay? Oh, yeah. Let's go tell our Smiths.